this product that we built here is called magnesium oxide structural insulation panels. Magnesium oxide, it's like cement boards, but kind of stronger. It has fiberglass in it, okay. and it's glued to um, uh, rigid uh, mm -hmm. uh, EPS foam. Okay. So it has incredible insulating properties. This can handle snow. Okay. Um, and every wall is a shear wall, so it won't damage. It doesn't move. It, it, it vibrates a little bit. Mm -hmm. The other thing is all the glass is double panes. We only lost like three windows on the whole property. It's okay. fairly robust. That's starting right there. We lost pretty much every, yeah, no. We lost How, big every How big is the property? How big is the property? How big is the property? 3.4 acres. Yeah. And you saw we just lost some membrane here in our tundra bungalows. And so it's just mostly a cleanup for us. Oh, yeah. And all the free sand. Yeah, you <laughs> um, do you guys see it? No, all the This is great stuff. So okay, here so, we go. Okay. Okay. I right uh, explain SIPs and SIP construction. There you go. This is called a SIP, S I P, uh -huh. structural insulation panel. And it might be hard to believe that styrofoam with half inch, with half inch uh, uh, skins on it, uh, glued onto it. Literally, look at that. Just glued onto it. It's right. hard to believe that that is structural, but that is far that mm -hmm. stronger. Than a concrete block wall. I mean, right. Did a lot of these concrete block walls come down? Yes, they yes, did. They a lot here. It's stronger than uh, two by four walls. In okay. California, where we have earthquakes, mm -hmm. uh, the number one thing that kills buildings, as many of you probably know, Shifted. is shear forces. Right. Where the building wiggles like that, that's what makes it fail. Okay. Um, so this, every wall is a shear wall. Okay. Every wall is a shear wall. The building code in California, you have to have something like 30% of the walls be a shear wall. But we have 100%. So this is the perfect structural product for uh, at like intense weather events, earthquakes and hurricanes. Now the other thing we did, all the buildings are on uh, galvanized steel helical piles. They're these screw piles that they use for docks from um, a marine. They're nine feet tall. Okay. We screw them down in with an excavator drill, the hydraulic drill. Um, they can hold like 10 times the weight of that thing. But you know, they, it's not that they just hold the weight, they also hold the uplift for things right. like hurricanes. On top of the, uh, the screw piles, um, by the way, this stuff is like nearly free when you import direct from China. Okay. One of those piles is 30 to 35 US dollars. Okay. okay? We're talking this is a way to build affordable housing that can withstand the elements. Right. Then we do galvanized steel framing. It's like basically two by ten okay. steel framing. Mm -hmm. uh, we put more MGO on the subfloor, the SIP walls we already talked about. And then on the roof, did you notice that we, didn't really, we lost some parapet here because it's the first time we actually built and we didn't know what we were doing. Right. And all the other the parapet, the parapet wall, if you look up here. That, I mean, parapet roof. That's a parapet roof. I mean, there's a roof behind that, but you just don't see it. They use it for commercial buildings. Uh -huh. But if you're the wind, what are you going to grab onto? You know what I'm saying? Like, you right. can't. There's nothing to tear off. Right. Which is what didn't happen here. You see, we lost some membrane here. On the side. We, we, did, a, we did a sketchy job on this membrane on this building anyway. Okay. And then we lost two membranes over there. That's the most significant damage plus the parapet over here. Uh, once that parapet went, we lost 12 of the 30 solar panels. Mm -hmm. They flew over there. Curiously, the electricity was on during the hurricane, okay. and it still is because it's solar. Solar. Right. Doesn't care about wind, and we have batteries. Okay. How much battery pack? Tell me about your battery uh, we pack. We have a. We have a. It was a 15 kilowatt system. It's now down to about nine, and we have a 14 kilowatt uh, lithium phosphate. Okay. So uh, we're pretty sold on the. Uh, this this is supposed to withstand Cat Five. Obviously, mm -hmm. it did. Um, the only thing that we screwed up on is we did not put plywood on the front. If this thing turned from a tropical storm to you guys are screwed in like 24 hours, if you recall. And so we couldn't get the plywood down here quick enough mm -hmm. to put it up there. Had we done that, mm -hmm. we would have minimized damage. Uh, we still had a foot of storm surge in the bungalow wow. which is two feet off the ground okay that's how much storm surge we're, we're talking wow. about seven to nine feet that's pretty that's a lot yeah, of that's a lot surge. coming in yeah there. but 
And for the folks who don't know, what side of the island is this, and what this we look at? This is the windward side. That's Canawan. That's Canawan. And that's Tobago Keys right there. Tobago Keys. And that right there is Canada. Salt Whistle Bay. Salt. Whistle as we say Bay. in real estate location, 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 location. And location. as far as windward side takes the most of the wind on any island. Hence, when yeah, we got spanked pretty hard. I was in there under a mattress, so yeah, it, and okay. I wasn't super positive. Everything I just told you was true. Right. So you you <laughs> I lived literally it. put my life on the line for, right. for this. Okay. So thank you that it worked. I was afraid it's going to get lifted off because uh-huh. it's open underneath. Okay. And I was going to go tumbling with my little dog. No. Thank God that didn't happen. Well, we're we're glad that you it was said. close. We're glad. There you go. A little bit of what's happening here on the windward side. Appreciate you guys.